if you had some advice for you know aspiring entrepreneurs or just anyone really, um, what advice would you give uh, other folks, uh, Nabil? Now, you know, if you had a chance to advise other people, uh, what would you uh, get, tell them? Um, let's think about two, three advices that I'd give. Uh, I think I, I think the first one is do it if you have a high threshold for pain. Uh, because there's a lot of pain. There, there's a lot of pain. Let me list out some of the pain you will receive on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's first world pain, but it is pain nonetheless, right? Uh, and I, I mentioned this earlier, but you know, you receive pain from your board, right? Uh, they have a vantage point on the business that they want you to accomplish. You receive pain from your employees. They have a different vantage point. Uh, your leaders, um, the people that report to them, the middle managers, there is your colleagues, right? Your co-founders or your CEO or your C-suite or others. Uh, and then there is customers. There's new customers. There's existing customers. There's pain from there as well, a lot of pain. Uh, and more importantly, there's pain also because uh, hopefully you're not dating another entrepreneur. If you are, you're a sociopath. But if you're not, your partner will never understand fully. They'll support you fully, but they'll never understand fully on the nightmares you have in the middle of the night when you wake up at three o'clock and you're like, burn rate, burn multiples, runway. And uh, so I, it's, it's a constant pain. So you need to have a high threshold for pain. Uh, uh, number two is, uh, and this is cheesy, like, you know, be yourself, but it's really hard to be yourself when you're struggling. It's really hard to be yourself when you're succeeding. It's really hard to be yourself when a lot of people are reporting it to you. You want to be what they want you to be, you know, especially when you're a first-time founder. You want to be what they want you to be. You don't want to really be what you want to be because you don't know if you like who you are. You don't even know if you're good enough to be uh, uh, the leader that can run that company. Um, but you have to believe in yourself. You have to opt in. You have to choose you. You have to, be, you have to, have to have this incredible, again, insecurity about yourself and ego about yourself. So you have to be yourself. Every time I've done things because the mass or the, the general group wanted to do something, I've paid for it. I've never not paid for it. How about that? I've never not paid for it when we were in a disagreement. Uh, and that's your job. Your job is to have those non-scientific skills about having instinct and guts and intuition about where to go. Those are all real, right? Those are not like, you know, just feelings. So those are the two advice. Um, I don't know if I have a third, but those are the two. Uh, I, I think the third one would be, uh, there's no third. I don't want to add a third just because for the sake of adding it. Those are the top two advice I have for younger version of me or other founders. Uh, get ready for the pain uh, and, and, and uh, try to slowly be the, the version of yourself uh, that can show up at work. Uh, if you do those two things, you will do better than most. And even then you will fail. So might as well do it. 